Yesterday evening should have been the night of the College's Norfolk Commemoration Feast, a red-letter day every year in our College calendar. It's the celebration of our foundation by the 15th Duke of Norfolk, along with Baron von Hugel and Edmund Nolan in 1896, as a home within Cambridge for a previously excluded Catholic minority. Since then, we have continued their desire to foster diversity. For almost 125 years, St Edmunds has nurtured minds with a passionate curiosity from every possible background. It's Cambridge excellence with a human face. As alumni, you know this firsthand. You know what a unique educational experience that a flourishing St Edmunds gives to those who join our community. Lockdown makes communal religious practice difficult. Passover, Easter and Ramadan have all been celebrated during recent weeks. Although our college chapel has been closed for public masses, it remains open for personal prayer and reflection. And indeed, our acting Dean, Father Alban, has been recording the mass week by week for our community. You can find that on our YouTube channel. And the Wolf Institute has in interviewed the leaders of many different faith communities about how COVID-19 has impacted the practice of faith, both negatively and positively. Those fascinating COVID chronicles can be found on the Wolf website. We are fortunate here in college during the lockdown to have such expansive grounds, and with over 120 students still living here, along with the master and other fellows, it's a real blessing to enjoy them under the sun. Students have been practicing yoga, gardening, conducting socially distanced games of cricket, which saw India take on Pakistan, as well as using the picnic tables to break the Ramadan fast. With such a significant number of students still living in college, we are so grateful to the remaining third of our staff who continue to come into college each day to support them. Housekeepers, porters, receptionists, maintenance staff and members of the tutorial team have all been going above and beyond to continue to make St Edmunds a real home for our diminished residential community at this difficult time. We are also regularly in touch with our fellows and senior members via Zoom meetings and more informal get-togethers. And indeed, we all raised a glass to our founders last night in a Norfolk quarantini to remember their kindness and inspiration. It has been heartening that so many senior members have offered to help and support our students in myriad ways during lockdown. Wherever you are, we hope that you and your loved ones are as well as can be during these hard times and that you can draw strength from the St Edmund's spirit which our founders did so much to make a reality and which we are building on for our future together.